Hi, this is Jason. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your Digistream quickly and easily. So let's get started. You want to make sure that you have batteries in your remote. The unit's plugged in, HDMI cables connected. You should see this boot logo on your screen. If you don't, stop the video and, and catch up. All right, you should see a welcome screen appearing here shortly. The only time that you'll see this is the first time you set up the unit. Go ahead and use the direction pad on the remote to select next. Select next for your language. And you're going to want to adjust your display with the up and down arrows on the remote. This is somewhat common sense. You want to have the display fit the outer edges of your TV so that there's no black and that the color is not going outside of your viewing area. After that you can select next. Now we're going to connect to Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Um, in this case I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi. Check the box that you want. Wi-Fi, checking Wi-Fi will pull up a list of your Wi-Fi networks. When you see your network name, go ahead and select it. And then go ahead and enter the password into the password box. Now, when you select the password box, an on-screen keyboard will appear. So you can go ahead and use the shift key for uppercase there and uh, the rest of the letters obviously are kind of common sense. Um, you can use the numbers on the remote versus the numbers on the keyboard to make it a little bit quicker. When you're done using the on-screen keyboard, you'll need to press the return or the back button on the remote to get rid of the keyboard. And go ahead and press connect. After you see that you're connected to Wi-Fi, go ahead and select Finish. Now you'll be taken to the Android Launcher. Now the Launcher is uh, the kind of the home screen for your device. Um, from here, we're not going to go and look at this other stuff now. We're going to go ahead and go into the Kodi Media Center because this is primarily what we're trying to do is get media content. So let's open up the application. It's going to go through the first time run. You'll be taken to the Kodi home screen. and we're going to install a wizard, a setup wizard, to put add-ons into Kodi for us. So you're going to want to go ahead and go over to System, select it, now select add-ons, select install from zip, Select Digirepo. Now you can choose the wizard that you like. Um, I would recommend either the clean wizard or the adult wizard for most people. Um, obviously if you want some Spanish speaking content you would choose something else. Um, the clean wizard has all standard type content. The adult wizard has all of that plus some adult content as well. You can always disable or uninstall the adult content later. So I'm going to go ahead and, and run the adult wizard. Um, so that I can show you in the next tutorial how to disable or remove add-ons. And select the folder and then the add-on zip file. You'll be pushed back into Kodi. Go ahead and select the back button or it's labeled return on the remote. Hit the return button until you get back to the Kodi home screen. Go to the videos tab and Underneath videos you'll see add-ons. Select videos add-ons. We just installed an add-on. So now we want to run it. We're going to go find it here. 
and there it is. There's the there's the DigiWizard. Go ahead and select it, follow the on-screen prompts, and wait for the download. Now the wizard is going to install about 70 or so video add-ons, which is quite a few to get anyone started um, as far as media viewing. Now, if you're not to this point where you're getting a download, then you probably got an internet connection problem. Um, or if it's not going this fast, if it's going substantially slow, that could be an issue as well. You should be cruising right through it. Um, if you're not, you probably want to go ahead and stop the video and problem solve that before you go much further. Uh, the one thing that the Digistream does need is a strong internet connection. After the files are done downloading, they will extract. It's just about finished. After the wizard's finished, you'll select OK. and select OK here. And you'll be taken to the Cody home screen where you'll start to see some icons appear. And there they are. We are finished. Now these are nine at the bottom of under video add-ons here. These are nine of the 70 or so add-ons that are installed under videos. Um, these can be changed out for, for something that you like more or frequent more, but this is to help get you started. There's some underneath music here. And if you want to go see all the add-ons, you go to Videos, Add-ons, and click on the two dots there. And now you'll see all the add-ons start to appear. that's the end of this tutorial. You're done.